Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. I'm going to let you guys uh, hear a sample, uh, basically a snippet of this particular audio. And then I'm going to give my assessment of the video. And then I'm going to close the video out. And I'm going to let you guys give your opinion. So I want you to hear this. I'm going to break this down. And then I'm going to let everybody go at it in the comment section. Just keep the comments respectful. Um, I'm using this snippet under the fair use. You know, basically the commentary is all mine. And the opinions of me are not necessarily those of the people that I'm basically borrowing the audio from. And I'm using this under fair use. So with that being said, just take a listen. Here you go. Here's the story. You're married, have a kid, a happy home, and then you work on yourself, lose over a hundred pounds, and become unrecognizable, both inside and out. You hang out more, and ultimately step out on your marriage. There's hurt, pain, and a divorce. You live life with regret, but your story is different. What I thought at the time was love, I had never felt that before, ever. I had never felt so more desired in my life, ever. Was it always your husband difficult? Very. Why? Because I only wanted the other guy. How did your husband find out? I confessed. I was ready to leave my baby, leave my family. This guy. So basically, I'm giving you the short version. This is just, uh, you know, like I said, a snippet that I decided to, you know, basically make a video off of. Um, you know, um, this happens all the time. You know, um, a lot of times you hear in particularly certain women for, from our community always uh, playing victim. And this is a clear case where a woman um, basically screwed up her marriage in her situation because she started feeling herself. Basically, this is a woman where she got married. She was a plus size woman. She lost over 100 pounds and, you know, she started looking bubbly and stuff. And then all of a sudden she was too good for her husband. And to make a long story short, she basically stepped out on her husband and basically she ruined her marriage. And she was ready to leave her husband and her child behind to be with a dude. So basically she wasn't even worried about her husband or her child it was just all about her because she was selfish because basically she lost the weight so she felt oh okay well now i have options but here's a man that married her uh despite the fact that she was plus size and he st stuck with her through her journey as she lost weight and all he got in return is for her to think that you know she was you know too good for him and she had options while she was sitting up being married and basically, to make a long story short, it appears that basically that, you know, they got divorced. Now, here's a woman that ruined her marriage because all of a sudden when she felt like she had options and she started getting attention from all these different men, all of a sudden that made her feel like, oh, well, hey, now that I have options, I should exercise these options. But then a lot of times in these situations, you hear women always hollering about how they you know, stick with somebody through thick and thin and how they make sacrifices and all this kind of stuff. But here it is. A man married her and loved her the way she was. But when she lost weight and he stuck by her instead of her realizing what type of good man she had, she decided, hey, I want to see what's out there. You know, now I already know there's going to be eventually some woman that's going to listen to this video and say, well, he probably did something because, you know, we all know accountability is like a disease to a woman. A lot of times they just don't want to catch it. They will try to blame everybody, everything and what and just anything except themselves when something doesn't go their way or when they do something that they shouldn't do and they don't want to be held accountable. They will try to make it everybody's fault except theirs. I think this is fucked up what she did to the dude, you know, but at the end of the day, what did this dude get out of it? He stuck by her through thick and thin as, you know, she wanted to lose weight because basically, I guess, while she was uh, overweight, she didn't have any confidence. But then as she lost weight and the confidence came and the comments came and she started getting that attention, she decided to act on the attention instead of just being flattered at the attention and not and, and not realize that she had a husband and a child 
she was like, oh, I'm going to act on it. And apparently she wanted to be with somebody else besides her husband. And it seems to me that she's reg regretting it. And, you know, I feel bad for her husband. You know, and this is that that same old situation about nice guys finish last. You know, same old situation. You you never win when you're being a good dude. Like I said, the, the Pookies and the Ray Rays, they get all the love. They get all the respect, even though they don't deserve it. So, you know, like I said, this is one of the damning things that go on in our, our community. And it's just puzzling that this stuff happens. You know, like I said, a lot of us just think as backwards in our community. And this is sad. So whatever the case may be um, with this lady, I hope she regrets what she did. And it seems like she 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 does regret what she did. But due to the fact that she was willing to leave her child and her husband behind <laughs> to be with a dude, that says a lot about her character and who she is as a a person. I don't want to consider her or call her a woman because she didn't conduct herself like a woman. So there you have it. That's my opinion on the situation. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.